Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's little chat is going to be about copying other artists. Now, there's a couple of things to consider when um, you are approaching an artwork. So, I am just going to use a couple of examples and then just explain things that way. So, when you are doing artwork like I am, when um, something realistic, so your aim is to uh, use a reference photograph and try and get a realistic results. So try and get as much of the details as you can from the photograph. So when you're doing something like that, um, you need to have permission from the photographer to be able to use that photograph um, to draw from. Uh, either that or you need to pick a photograph that has a royalty free license on it and then that automatically means that you are allowed to um, use that photograph to reproduce your own work and then make a profit from your own work you cannot make a profit from a drawing that you have made from a photograph if you do not have permission to use that photograph as a reference to your drawing if a photograph looks a lot like your drawing and you don't have permission from the photographer you cannot make a profit from that so that goes against copyright laws um, if I was to pick a drawing of another artist that I really like and I copy that drawing I cannot use that drawing to make any profit at all I am allowed to draw it for practice if I want to but I cannot use that to promote myself or to make any profit from it because that also goes against copyright laws and um, it wouldn't exactly make that artist feel very good knowing that there's other artists out there copying their work and making profit from it so if you had to try and turn the tables around and be um, find someone else who's copied your work and is making profit from it it's not going to be very um, a very nice feeling in general and also that is against the law so you cannot do that um, if you are copying from a photograph but you aren't copying it exactly so you are trying to manipulate the entire scene um, on your drawing or your painting and then in the end you're going to look at your drawing or your painting and you aren't going to know that that is the photo or the, that those are the photos that you've used then that's okay because no one's going to know that you use those um, photos as reference um, to what you're drawing because the end result of your creation doesn't look anything like it or you've changed it in such a way that it's it's very different so that's okay you're allowed to use photos um, without permission if your end result is going to end up looking completely different that's not a problem at all um what else yeah, but if you do want to copy another artist's work and another artist gives you permission to copy their work, most of the time when an artist gives you permission to copy their work, it's usually probably an artist that's trying to teach other artists to learn. And that means that they that it's there for practice. It's not there to make profit. So make sure that if an artist gives you permission to draw from their artwork, and you decide that you want to sell it or try and make a profit from it, make sure that you clarify with the artist that you use the reference from um, before you do this because you'll probably find out that that is not the reason you have permission to draw from their photo. You have permission to draw from it because it's for practice and for learning but not to make profit from it. So that belongs solely to the artist if it's a unique piece to them. So I hope that gives you guys a little more of an insight. Like if you want to draw from a photograph, you need to have um, a royalty free photograph or you need permission from the photographer. If it's your own photograph, then obviously it belongs to you. So you can do with it whatever you want. If you want to copy from another um, painting or drawing, you cannot do that without the permission from the artist and I can tell you now the artist is not going to give you permission because that work is unique to them so they're not going to want anyone to reproduce that work um, for profit I don't mind if people copy what I do as long as they're doing it for practice um, and most of the time the photographs that I use are royalty free photographs or I get permission from the photographers um, to use those photos in that case 
You are allowed to copy from the same photograph if it's royalty free and you also have permission to use that same photograph. I can't stop you from doing that. Just because a, a photo, ha I have the um, rights to use a photo that's royalty free, that means that you also have the rights to use a photo that's royalty free. Um, and you can also reproduce that work in your own way and make profit from it because that means you still have permission to do it, even though another artist also has permission to do that. So keep that in mind. You'd like to find photos that other artists haven't used or um, get permission from photographers that only allow you to draw from their work. That would be ideal and nice because then you know that it is very unique to you and that you'll be the only one pre reproducing any kind of artwork from the photograph. But otherwise you can just use a royalty free photograph because I know, like me, there's a lot of artists out there that don't know how to photograph things or they don't get out there enough to have the opportunity to photograph something amazing. So we have to kind of outsource those sorts of references for ourselves. So keep in mind that if you want to copy something, make sure you understand the permissions before you do. And it's really just as simple as that. Um, if you have permission to use it, then use it. If you aren't sure, then find out. And if you know that you're not supposed to, then just don't do it. It's probably better that way. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope this was a useful little video. I try to say things as quick as possible because sometimes I know I can drag things out. But anyways, I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.